things that you watch here with both handlers. Uh, one of the first things that you remember is, is that it's the handler and dog of the day. It's not the handler. So in scoring the world team member, national team, the whole bit, it's not how she handles the dog, it's how this level one dog responds to its handler. So as you go through that, you see a very excited, energetic dog that's responding to its handler, but he does get a little bit full of himself. He's, ah, I've got this kind of stuff. So as you, as you listen to scores and you look to see what's happening, this happens to all of us. Dog has their, its own mind at times. You are judged, particularly as you move to the different levels. Secondary obedience comes into play more in between exercises. I think you have someone to watch with great handler skill to learn from. Um, and I know this is similar, uh, it's not directly here by the book, but this is where I see a handler that does full body motions. She's not freezing her hand and holding her dog in place, right? She's not using body language just to keep her dog in control. She's, she's 100% being an honest handler as she works her dog. And that's what you want to learn from, to learn how to do that and train through so you can be doing that as well, opposed to finding out, are my little side tricks helping me enough to make it through the routines, all right? Thank you. So for, <coughs> are you calling Leo? Yeah, I am. All right. So for Beth and Leo, off leash, uh, except for some crowding along the way, right? He pushes into her a little bit. Uh, on the downfield motion, he pushes into her a little bit, coming back up in the change of pace, and pushes in a little bit, particularly on the right hand, oh, pardon me, left around side of the group. He crowds in a little bit on her there. Uh, other than that, a low, excellent exercise. Sit out of motion is an excellent exercise. Down with recall, <coughs> crooked on the finish, low, excellent exercise. For the retrieve on flat, uh, on the retrieve on flat, I have as a SG exercise, I have crooked in the finish, and then unfortunately I can't read my own scribble with a P that happened earlier on the retrieve on flat. Uh, I think it uh, probably came back, yeah, <laughs> well, put me there at the front, yeah, on this placement. On the hurdle, we have secondary obedience, a little too much excitement moving around, not staying in place. We had two foos commands to getting back into his position. So, and again, at a one level, it's not a dramatic hit, but again, it's, it's obedience that should be taking place. So it certainly takes you out of the excellent and the SG. So that drops us to a good exercise there on the one needle hurdle retrieve. Over the wall again, we come back with crooked and secondary obedience, dropping us down to a good. The send out and down is powerful and quick. Excellent exercise, long down, excellent exercise. Today a 93.